Johnny Wilkinson is debatably the best fly half England have ever had and is probably a close second of all time to Dan Carter. In this video, I show every fly half that came after Johnny Wilkinson's retirement from international rugby as of the 12th of December 2011. So without further ado, let's get into it. Toby Flood was the first golden boy after Johnny Wilkinson retired in 2011. He had made his debut in 2006 and had been in the shadow of Wilkinson up until his retirement. And then the 10 position seemed to be Flood's. However, injuries faltered him and in 2012 a young Owen Farrell came in and was picked ahead of him. However, Flood did play a few more tests after that, hence his inclusion in this video. As just mentioned, Owen Farrell is the next 10. He's England's captain right now, so his career has been a successful one, with plenty of trophies for England and Saracens. His debut in 2012 introduced him to international rugby, where he would stay until this day. We can already feel right now that there needs to be a change of the guard with the 10 position, just like there was when Wilkinson retired. With only one cap, Stephen Myler had to be included on this list. His first and only cap came against Argentina, coming off the bench and converting just one conversion. Although he only had one cap, it was his form for Northampton that gave him the opportunity to call himself a test player, so let's not take anything away from Myler. Danny Cipriani made his debut in 2008 which seems crazy as he's still around playing now. Cipriani had a long absence from the international scene and came back in 2014 to the tour of New Zealand, coming off the bench in the two tests. Cipriani has never been a mainstay in the England side, which is a shame as he has so much talent. However, selection wasn't his friend in his international career. Almost exactly one year from Wilkinson's retirement, Freddie Burns made his England debut against New Zealand in a 38-21 victory which many of you probably remember. He was brought on on the tour of Argentina and played 10 in both tests. After that, he didn't manage to stay in the squad with Owen Farrell being preferred. It's fair to say Burns was an exciting player in his international stint, so hats off to him. George Ford made his debut in 2014 in the Six Nations against Wales. From then on really, Ford was in and around the England setup, along with Owen Farrell, and they rekindled their under-20 partnership with Ford at 10 and Farrell at 12. With 76 England caps, George Ford cannot be understated with his England career, one of the best 10 to succeed the great Johnny Wilkinson. Marcus Smith is probably the next shining light for England at fly half, and with his one cap he's eligible for this video. His only cap came against the United States in 2021. However, he had faced the Barbarians for England, but it did not count towards a cap. He was supposed to win more caps this past summer, but he was picked for the British and Irish Lions as a late call-up. Can any coach disregard a Lion? Let's hope not because Smith has some serious talent. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the tens England have gone through since the great Johnny Wilkinson. How do you think they have done? Has anyone done it better than Sir Johnny? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.